So guys, we are now into the month of December and things are really starting to heat up with various discounts on different models and incentives flying off of the shelves. But the two main objective of all this is to boost year end numbers and to clear out as much inventory as possible making way for the new. Now as of last week Tesla has already begun the production of the 2025 Model Ys and they have delivered it to a handful of customers. However, these are not the refresh models as Tesla is preparing to revamp the entire production line while also keeping the current lineup still going to keep as steady production volume as possible. It has recently been confirmed that Giga Berlin has made the move to hire over 500 temporary workers on the Model Y production line, now making them permanent full-time positions just in time for the refresh model. And around the same period this news was made of where to the public, we have also discovered some last minute changes happening to the Model Y that affects its rear tail light design as well as the front headlights. This change here could inherently be the case of overcomplication of the design or could simply be that it costs too much to outweigh the value. But we have documented all of this and went into details. If you want to know more about that, a link is in the description and a banner up top there. Now, this video here is not going to be one where we go through the entire design of the Model Y once again, as we already know that everything is going to be pulled from the Model S, Model X, and the new Model 3 Highlands and all packaged into this one perfect family SUV. Outside of just the main core features like the ambient lighting, ventilated seats, and stockless design, we have also been extremely interested in the overall exterior look of the car. This has been the key highlight of the Juniper refresh and through various sightings and leaks, we have been able to map up all the main differences being the rear light bar and the more aggressive front end design. Now of course there are going to be some subtle differences such as the new wheels, new bumpers and new headlights but something that we are all waiting to see and something that Tesla has never done before and that is to substantially increase the battery size and the range of all the previous models. As of earlier this year, we have documented a recent partnership between Tesla and Cathal for a specialized battery built just for the new Model Y Juniper. This has been said to be a 95 kilowatt hour pack and boasts over 400 miles of range on a full charge not accounting for aerodynamic increases with the new design. This battery here will be the lightest LFP pack with the most density at 500 watt hour per kilogram and will gain a substantial charging speed upgrade at over 350 kilowatts with a rate of over 0 to 80 percent in approximately 10 minutes. Not only that, but this new LFP pack will be able to output higher peak sustained load, enabling it to be used across all various trims ranging from the base model all the way up to the performance and while this news was originally shared late last year by an ex-user that goes by Smudlik2 and located in Germany, the details have once again resurfaced in recent days alongside clear images of the new vehicle. A news publication in the US that goes by CarBuzz and part of the Valnet publishing group has recently shared an image alongside previous prototype sightings giving us a closer look into what we can be expecting. With this new image here, we can see a much closer view of the entire span of the car highlighting what looks to be 20 inch wheels, the white perforated interior seats, and the front light bar with separate headlights. But the most interesting part about this image and why CarBuzz had to revise it was that the original image that was uploaded and shared had what we were all assuming and what we all hoping for and that is a much larger battery pack. While looking at the picture that they have recently revised on the website versus what was found a few days back, we can say that they have removed the 95 kilowatt hour battery text and being that CarBuzz is typically very detailed and a reliable site to depend on, it will be a major oversight if the information was posted without any credible sources. Unfortunately, we don't know the exact reasons as to why it was later removed. It could be to cover any misinformation or details that have recently surfaced. But at this point, it is quite clear the path that Tesla is aiming for. And that is to pack as much range as possible into the very best selling family SUV. So yeah, it's quite possible that the best selling SUV in the world is going to get a substantial, humongous, massive range upgrade. And that is going to go from a 75 kilowatt all the way to a 95 kilowatt pack. This is going to give so much more range. It's going to remove any range anxiety. 
and it's going to make the best experience you can get in the lowest cost vehicle that you can buy today. Now, this is just a personal speculation here, but I do believe that it will not come initially at the announcement stage. So the very first Model Y Junipers rolling off of the lines are still going to use the original packs at 75 kilowatt hour with the exact same range, but they will eventually and slowly move into the newer pack as the production begins to ramp and they are able to transition over and only to these new LFPs. Now out of all the things that could come with the Model Y that excites me, that is going to be the newer battery pack. Of course, the rest of the items are nice, the ambient lighting, rear display and whatnot, but the range anxiety that you get through the road trips, those are going to be the things that really make a big difference for myself, for my family, and I'm sure for you guys as well. Imagine rolling up to a supercharger and going from 0 to 80% in about 10 minutes rather than sitting there for over 40 minutes getting that additional 20%. Whereas you are still getting the same amount of range in this 95 kilowatt hour pack as you would on a full state of charge on the 75. So yeah, with that being said and with the announcement looming, let me know in the comments below what you think about all this. Are you going to be waiting for the 95 kilowatt hour pack before picking up the Model Y Juniper? Or are you going to jump right on the order button as soon as it's made available? I would love to know all of this. I would love to compare it with everybody else that is also anticipating the Model Y Juniper. Let us know in the comments below. Let's discuss all about it. But anyways, this should be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to hit that subscribe, that bell notification, and follow me on Twitter at HeyJohnE. You guys will get the latest over there, and there will be a bunch of stuff that I won't be sharing on YouTube. This should be it for this one. This is John once again. Peace out.